Hello, welcome to How to Triathlon. In this video, I will show you uh, how to use the testing feature in the E2 project. So uh, what I have here is that I have a PC connected to the um, the SMPC O2, uh, O2 uh, zero 02 um, USB unit uh, that is then hooked up to a DI2 SD50 wire um, to a JC41 junction box, right? And then it is then hooked up to my um, shifters um, and uh, brake shifters uh, on both sides and also the TT uh, controller that would go on the arrow bar. Um, so let me uh, click connect here. Uh, and it's starting the connection to the devices. It's just taking its time to recognize um, all the stuff that's being connected. All right, it's just ready to go. And now um, you can see that um, you know, we, we got, uh, it detects all the units here, the, sh the, the left shifter, um, the left TT shifter, the right um, shifter and the right TT shifter. And here, I think I showed you in another video, like you can configure uh, how, uh, how the buttons are used to shift up or shift down. But this time I'll show you the main maintenance tab over here. And there is, um, error check function that you can press that can test um, all the all the all the switches to make sure they're prop, uh, working properly so I'm just going to click on here to do a check and then I just selected all devices uh, for testing so first it wanted to make sure that the left shifter is working correctly and I'm just going to press here right see it shows that it's working same thing on the right side and then the TT shifter on the left, which I actually don't know which one is the left one. I think it is this guy actually. Let's see if this is the one. Nope. Um, so it was probably testing the, I pressed the wrong one. So I pressed this one again. It's just working. And it's also testing their battery consumption. So skip the left one and I'm just going to test that again just to make sure that it's working. So I just have to press the button here. All right, so it's all working. Okay, so I just want to uh, show this to you really quickly, right? And I hope you find this useful. Now I want to show you um, how I'm going to test my uh, front and rear derailleur. Um, so first I'm going to disconnect the um, uh, this unit from all the stuff that I got here. So it's on an SD50 wire. So I'm just going to come over here and unplug it. Okay. And let me move all this stuff aside. And what I got here is an Altegra 12 speed unit. So I got their, their rear derailleur here that's connected with an SD300. Um, and I got the battery here and the front derailleur here. And I'm going to connect this guy um, with, the, um, with the USB unit using this. So let me show you what this is. Because um, I think they got all tango up. Just give me a minute here. So this is, um, uh, I believe it's called AD, EW, AD305. So you can see that on one end, it takes in um, the SC50, which is much thicker. And on the other end, it takes the new 
12 speed DI to your SD300 wire, a lot more narrow. So what I'm going to do is connect one end of this um, to the, uh, oh, actually this is going to be, I need to first disconnect this guy. So I'm going to connect one end with this um, unit to the, um, to the, um, to the USB, um, which you can see here, right? So this is the wire coming in from the USB. But before I do that, I'm going to connect this to the battery first. So this is the new style um, um, DN300 battery um, designed for the 12 speed unit. And you can see that there's a, it's actually a battery and a hub, right? So on the top, it can connect to three different um, um, SD3, uh, SD300 wires. And you may wonder how are you going to plug in the wire because there's already something there. So this is a dummy plug. So before you use it, um, you have to first disconnect the dummy plug, which I'm going to do now. So this is a tool um, for working on their SD300 wires. So I'm going to just come in here and disconnect the dummy plug. And then I am going to plug in this guy, which is connected to the um, which is connected to the USB unit. Okay, you can hear that reassuring clicking sound. So the battery is connected. So the battery is basically is now connected to the front and rear derailleur, as well as, uh, I'm just going to do this part now, um, to the USB unit. And before I plug this in, you know, one thing to check is always make sure that um, the E2 project is not on and the light on the USB unit is off, right? So right now there's no light on the LED here. And this is a SD50 wire. Um, so um, that goes into the uh, USB unit, right? So on one end, this is coming in from the battery and now I'm going to connect this to the USB unit. Great. And this is the first time I do this, so hopefully no, it's not going to blow up. All right, so let me come over here and click connect and see what happens. Right, now it's just recognizing the units. Oh, great. So you can see that um, the firmware is not on the latest, the battery, um, the, the front and the wear developer can all use a firmware update. Um, actually, let me move this window. I don't know why. Just shift it to the side here. Um, so before I do that, I'm just going to take a look at what I can customize. Um, so uh, looks like there are Multiple things I can select based on, you know, the single shift, um, the multi shift, and as well as the wireless setting, uh, which is right now set to end and both end and, and Bluetooth. And you can, I guess, to conserve power, you can just select either one of the protocol. Um, and when it comes to maintenance, which is what I care about, um, looks like there, you can also um, if you can test the front and the back. Let's see, you can actually do an error track. So, which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to select all and see what, how it works. And let's see, let's see what we can do. So, um, oh, actually this is not going to work because um, I haven't connected the shifter yet, so there's no way for me to shift either the front or the back. So I'm just going to uh, cancel this um, for both um, the front and the back. And I'm just going to do a battery test, which is it's doing right now. And to say that it all work, and it's going to do a battery consumption check. 
which will take another 30 seconds. So one thing I haven't thought about is that um, I show you the, um, the TT shifter and the front shifter um, in the earlier part of this video. Um, I actually need to buy an additional wire, which is like a Y wire so that I can connect uh, one end of it to the USB unit, another end to the JC41, and yet another end to the, um, the 8305 here so that I can test everything together. Um, so it looks like I need to get that cable. Um, it looks like the test is now completed. Okay, perfect. So, um, so I'm going to do a firmware update now and haven't done this before. So just to be safe, I'm going to try out the battery first and see what happens. So I selected the battery here and I click update and it says updating. All right, and you can actually see the progress bar going like, um, on the battery here, showing that it's updating the firmware. Okay, it's done. Say 100%. like this is done and I'm just going to go back to this screen again okay now I'm just going to um, select uh, both the front and rear derailleur um, so the front I'm going to upgrade it from 403 to 404 and on the back it will go for version uh, 406 to 407 so I'm going to update both the derailleur firmware and say that up here that it will take another um, 30, 30, 30, 5 seconds. So it's updating the red derailleur now. And actually, one part I'm curious about that I haven't looked into yet is can I, you know, do firmware update and use E2 project to do like maintenance, customization and so forth without using the USB unit because this guy is actually about 200 bucks US. Um, and I'm always curious about whether you can just use the built-in uh, Bluetooth connection, um, you know, from the, uh, from the derailleur unit to directly do this. Okay, so it looks like all the firmware are updated now. Perfect, and I just need to hook them up together with the shifter in order to test them. And I'll probably do another video on that. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Um, and um, as I said, uh, in my other videos, I'm going to upgrade my triathlon bike uh, with the DI2 trail speed. So if you're interested, please click subscribe and uh, follow my journey. Thank you.